Hello, I'm making you a video to assist you with week 8 assignment. Um, this is a regret, uh, Excel output that I got out of your textbook. And I'm going to show you how to fill in the table for the T-STAT and the lower and upper 95. Um, that is on your on your assignment. I'm also going to show you how to figure out the regression equation. Alright, so to figure out the t-stat, what you have to do is you need to take the coefficient and divide it by standard error. So you have to do it for each line. So for the intercept, you're going to take 98.24833 and you're going to divide it by this 58.03348. That's how you get the t-stat. You're going to do it for the second line, which is the square feet. Um, this is your independent va uh, variable. And you're going to take 0 0.10977 and divide it by 0 0.03297. This is how you get the t-step. Alright, next let's calculate how to do the lower 95 and the upper 95. These are confidence intervals. So to do that, the, there is a formula in your textbook. Let me clear the screen. It looks something like this. And you're going to have to use a T statistic. So, this B1 that you see, that's going to be the coefficient for that line. And then this SB1 that you see is your standard error. Oops, I can't spell error wrong. There we go. All right, and this T value is going to be uh, it's going to have n minus two degrees of freedom. So if you're looking up, on, if we're doing a 95% confidence interval, so um, where you, this part here where you see alpha over two, our alpha is 0.05 because it's 95 degrees so what you have left over in the tails would be 0 0.05 you're going to divide that by 2 and when we divide it by 2 you get 0 0.025 so when you look it up in the in the table in your book when, you, when you're looking at the top I don't have a chart but if you look in the book along the top it tells you the upper tail the upper tail you have to look for this number 0 0.025 and the degrees of freedom is n minus 2 so in the problem that we are doing um, our n is 10 so our degrees of freedom will be 8 okay our degrees of freedom is 8 so when we go to the t table we're going to look at degrees of freedom for 8 and going across the top we're going to look at 0 0.025 and the number that I got for my T value is 2.306 alright so we're going to plug those numbers back in um, into this formula but first let's go back so for the lower 95 and upper 95 for the intercept we're going to use this number for our B1 and we're going to use this number for our standard error all right. So it is ninety-eight point two four eight three three plus or minus the two point three zero six. We're going to multiply it by the standard area error of fifty-eight point zero three three four eight. When I multiply this out over here to the right I got 133.825 and I'm going to add that with 98.24833 so when I get the confidence interval when I add these two numbers together um, I got a big value I believe I got like 232 I get my calculator out so I got 232.07 and then when I subtracted the numbers I got 
a negative 35.577. Okay, so this is my upper and lower confidence levels. Um, and if we go back to the table, as you can see, these are the numbers that we get. We might be off a couple with the decimals that are off. So now you're going to do the same thing with the square foot. This is your slope here. This is your slope. So this time we are going to use 0 0.1977 and the 0 0.03297. So let's go ahead and plug those in. And we still use the same T value. This is a 7. This is plus or minus 2.306. We're going to multiply it by 0 0.03297. When I multiply everything out over here on the right, I get a 0 0.07602882. And I'm going to add it with the stuff over here on the left and I'm also going to subtract it from the stuff on the left and when I do it I get 0 0.0337 for the first number and I get 0 0.1858 for the second number if we go back to our chart um, that's what we get here in this table Okay. To figure out your regression equation, um, you have to use the intercept and your slope. So, regression equation and you guys probably won't understand these symbols that I'm writing. But this is your slope. This is always your intercept. So in the table, it gives you the intercept. If we go back to this table. They give you the intercept. So that's your B1. The slope is the square footage here in this problem. So when we write the regression equation, as you can see, it's up here. And they, they write theirs with the intercept first. I usually write it with the slope first. But they're trying to predict housing prices using this regression equation. So they're going to take the coefficient for the slope, 0 0.10977, they're going to times it by the square footage, and they're going to add it with the intercept. Okay. So um, you can use this as a predictor. You can plug in square footage and predict the price of your house. So I, I believe on your assignment you have to do a prediction. You have to plug in the number for uh, the x value and then predict the y value. So in this case our x value is square footage. We're going to predict the y value house price. Okay, so these are the numbers that you will use. The slope always goes with the variable. So like the square footage you can imagine that being x. It's a, it always goes with the variable. Put it that way. So it has to be multiplied by something. Housing, the intercept does not have a variable attached to it. You use the, the number, the coefficient for the intercept. All right, so I hope that helps you fill out the table a little bit. If you have any questions, you are free to email me.